Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Friday, February 12th, 2016. So, it's, uh, it's almost 2 here, it's 24 degrees, it's pretty frigid out today. It's snowing right now, I'm running out to get some food for Dindins. Oh, so, since today is, is Lincoln's birthday... Oh, before I dive into that, uh, uh, Sierra is still missing uh, today, as far as I know. Uh, So, yeah, today is Lincoln's birthday. And Monday is the observance of President's Day. So, I, I had a couple of things I thought I'd talk about that are kind of, kind of political, sort of political. And they're not, and they're sort of around the election, but they're not, I'm not going to be talking, you know, Hillary and Donald uh, at all here. But So, you know, one of the things that happened this week is, this week was the, of course, the caucus on Tuesday in New Hampshire, or the primary, I think it's there, right? I think primary. And, you know, Bernie Sanders won it. And that gives them a certain number of delegates for going to the to, to going to the Democratic National Convention. And of course, the thought process is: if you keep winning, you'll win enough delegates, and then you've got enough delegates to swing the swing the, the convention. But then there were news stories that were coming out. I guess it was yesterday that. It was basically just of a tie because when you add in these super dele- super delegates that these several news stories were saying were all pledged to Hillary, it was basically about an even tie on number of, of delegates. And I'm like, what in the heck are super delegates? Because I'd never heard of this. So I, I did a little research, and it was interesting. It, it could get very interesting. I, we're gonna have to see what happens here. But I, I, you know, so so you basically have two different types of delegates uh, in any state, and these are within the party. You know, so these are the, the people that you're sending to the to the convention, and you've got the delegates, which are the people that are allocated based upon the number of votes, and so those people are required to to be voting for the delegates. You know, that they've been assigned as, as far as having won. You know, so I think uh, uh, Bernie Sanders got 13. So those 13 are going to be required to to throw their names in for for Bernie Sanders at the, at the convention. But then you got these super delegates, which just appear to be like party leadership uh, from that area and other people that just get to go to the convention. They aren't tied to anybody and they can vote for whoever they want, uh, at least for the Democratic Party. Now, I guess it's a pretty rare thing that they don't vote for the person that won the primary. But there's rumors that you know Hillary's been been you know smooching up all the the Democratic leadership, and that she's got these people in their back pockets. Now, on the Republican side of the ball. Well, it's different. They have super delegates, but they are by rule, and there might be some state laws in there. I wasn't clear on that. They have to throw in for whoever won the primary in that state from the Republican side, which would kind of make you wonder well, why do they need super delegates at all? If if there's no difference, you know, unless it's just like, it's like a bonus, you know, like when you're doing a video game and you're going to get a certain amount, you, you know, you're doing, you're doing something and you're going to get a certain amount based upon your performance, but then you get a bonus. This is your bonus is you get the super delegates. And so maybe instead of just winning, you know, the 13 that, that you were expecting based upon your, based upon your percentage, you know, oh, now suddenly you get 20 or something if there's seven superdelegates. I am making up numbers. So, 
so yeah, I guess it's going to be an interesting thing to see what happens. You know, if 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 Bernie keeps winning, what's going to happen if he um, if these super delegates are enough to swing it Hillary's way? That could be kind of wild if he, if he had somebody that basically won the won the majority of the primaries and therefore should have the the correct number of delegates delegates I don't know if they're delicate delegates or not you know. <laughs> delicate delegates <laughs> um, so yeah it's gonna be kind of interesting to watch you know it, it, you know the one thing that seems to be very clear to me in this election cycle is that you know, people are kind of tired of, of you know, kind of the inside the beltway people. I think that's why Donald is doing so well. And even though Bernie's, you know, I think Bernie really is. I mean, he's he's a congressman, I think, of some some ilk. You know, but he's kind of got he's kind of got the feel of of you know not being um, part of the old guard, kind of like kind of like Hillary does. So it seems like the voters are like, they're, they're, they're ready for something else. And so it could get really interesting if the majority of, you know, primary voters vote, you know, basically vote for, for Bernie to get the nomination, but then due to this superdelegate thing, Hillary actually wins it because she gets more delegates because all the superdelegates throw her away because he's been smoozing them. Smoothing. I'm not saying that right, but you know, so that's gonna be interesting. Just like I think it's gonna be interesting. What's gonna go? What's gonna go on with Trump? Um, you know, are they really gonna give him the nomination if he if he wins it? I'm not sure. You know, to me, Trump is is kind of fraught with oddness and uncertainty. It's gonna be really weird if they don't give it to him, given that he seems to be the front runner. And that's something momentous. And then it's going to be really weird if they give it to him. (laughs) So, yeah, either way, I think we have interesting times coming. And hopefully not the Chinese curse kind of interesting. But I think I'll let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow. And I will be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.